Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with using Azure's text-to-speech API in Python. Now, right here is going to be the uh, to-do list in this video. So first, I'm going to cover the free tier usage. If we go to Azure's AI speech pricing page, and if we scroll down, and under the text-to-speech section, so every month, you get 5 million characters free usage for the text-to-speech feature. And once you go beyond the free tier or free usage uh, limit, then it's going to come down to around $15 per 1 million characters. If you want to train your own voice, so first you need to provide several media files of your own voice and to train the model. And it's going to cost you $50 per compute hour and up to $4,992 per training. And once you created your own voice model, then it's going to be $24 per 1 million characters uh, to use your own voice. Now it's going to be the uh, free tier usage. Now to dive into the tutorial. First, we need to create a resource group. And you can skip this step if you already have a resource group created. Now navigate to portal.azure.com and find a new user, simply create an account and it's free. And for new users, you'll first need to create a subscription. So simply go into the search field and search for subscriptions and create a subscription. Now here I'm going to search for resource group. Actually, it should be resource groups. And I'm going to create a new resource group. Now here, choose a subscription and I'll name the resource, speech resource lesson. And for the region, make sure that you choose is US2. Then we can click on review and create. And once all the validations are passed, simply create the resource. Now click the resource that we just created. And here, click on Create. Now we need to add the speech service to the resource group. So here we're going to search for speech. Then click on speech here. Now we want to create a speech plan. Now here again, we need to uh, choose the region to East US2. And for the instance name, I'm going to name the instances. Let's do text to speech lesson instance. So this is basically uh, an endpoint for you to connect to the service. Now, because I just uh, delete the instance uh, probably like a minute ago. So for now, I'm going to choose standard and click on review and create. Now review the information, make sure that everything is correct, then click on create. Now it's going to deploy the uh, resource. You can see this as uh, kind of like a container. Now click on go to resource. And we need to obtain the API key. Oh, by the way, so because my US East 2 region is still in the queue, ready to be deleted. So I should change the location to uh, US West. And that also allows me to access the free tier usage for that region. Now go into your project folder. We're going to create an environment file to store the environment variables. Name the file .env. And we're going to copy the API key. And you can access the API key by going to keys and endpoint on the resource management. Here I'm going to name the variable API key. And for the region, I'll name this as region followed by, and I don't think we need the endpoint. All right, so go ahead and save the file. I want to finish with the first three items. Now we need to install the packages. 
Now, there are three packages that we'll be uh, using. The first one is going to be the Azure Cognitive Services Speech Python package. And it's going to be Cognitive Services Speech. And to play the audio directly from your PC, I'll be using the PyDub Python package. And to load the environment variables from the .env file, and since this one is, let me take a look. And this will be python.env. Now enter to install the packages. And once we finish installing the packages, we can dive into the Python script. Now let me see into the folder. I'm going to create a Python script called demo.py. The amount of VS code. And I forgot to use the Python virtual environment. That's okay. Now, first thing first, we're going to import the libraries. And let me set this to the default here. Now, the OS and the load.env function, these two items are going to load the environment variables. And we're going to save the audio's binary using the IO module. And to play the audio, we are going to use PyDub's uh, Python libraries. And from agile.cognitive.services.speech, we're going to name this as speech SDK. To play the audio directly from the uh, binary, I create a function called play audio from bytes. So basically, we're going to pass the audio data, and we're going to uh, set the format to wave. Then we can use io.bytes.io to uh, load the audio data as bytes io object. Then from audio segment dot from file, we can provide the audio data io object to uh, serve as a kind of like audio file. Then use the play function to play the audio. Now let's go ahead and load the environment variables. They will need to create an instance of the speech config object. So this is basically uh, a connection to your resource, to, uh, not, you, not to your resource, uh, to your speech service uh, resource. Then we need to configure the audio. Now from the speech to text API uh, from Azure service, we have actually quite a large list of voices and languages. So if we go to the documentation, and which I'll link the link in the description below. So if we look at text to speech uh, section, so these are all the supported languages. It's a pretty big list. And for the voice, we want to scroll down to either multilingual voices. And these are pre-built voices. So actually, yeah. This table, right? Not this table. Should be this table right here. So these are the voices that support uh, multi language. And these are singular language voice for US English. So this will be the uh, voice ID. Then from speech config, we can use speech synthesis voice name, and we can set the uh, voice that we want to use. So this will be the voice ID. Then we need to create a speech synthesizer object from speech SDK. And here we need to provide the speech configuration and the audio configuration. Then we need to provide the text that we want to translate into audio. And for this demonstration, I'm going to uh, use Azure Text-to-Speech is an innovative solution for enhancing user interactions by converting text into natural sounding speech. Then from the speech synthesizer object, we're going to use the speak text async function. 
and we'll provide the text. Let me go ahead and run this code block to uh, create all the objects. Azure Text-to-Speech is an innovative solution for enhancing user interactions by converting text into natural sounding speech. So when you first uh, run this method here, it's going to basically play the audio. But the problem with that is that after you run this method, the audio is only going to remain uh, in the memory. I assume for like maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, I can remember. If I'm still waiting the time frame or the expression time frame, you can run the, the get method again to play the audio. But once the audio expires, you need to retrieve the audio's byte data and play the audio's using third party Python package. But here, let's look at this if statement. So here, I'm using an if statement to make sure that the uh, speech conversion is successful. So we can reference that gets that reason. And it's going to return the enumerated value of nine. So nine represents complete. And we can reference the enumeration using speech SDK that result reason followed by the status name. Now, if we create the audio data using speech synthesis result that gets the audio data, if we print audio data, so that's going to be the uh, byte strings that represents the audio. Now we can use the play audio from bytes function to play the audio again. Oh, and because, uh, crap. Yeah, uh, let me change my environment because I'm using my default Python uh, environment. And which VS Code does not have access. Let me terminate the session. I'm going to start the session using my uh, updated Python virtual environment. So I'm going to recreate everything from scratch all the way to line 29. Azure Text-to-Speech is an innovative solution for enhancing user interactions by converting text into natural sounding speech. Now, this if statement should return to. Now, I'm going to load the byte data from the audio. And let me come out of this line here. Then we can use the play audio from bytes function to play the audio. Azure Text to Speech is an innovative solution for enhancing user interactions by converting text into natural sounding speech. And to save the audio as a media file, you'll basically use the with function and supply the audio data. So let's go ahead and create the audio file. And here's the audio file. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this lesson. And hopefully you guys find this video useful. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.